Hey guys, it's Paul from Smart Easy DIY. Welcome to episode four of Building My Pole Barn House. Today, what I'm gonna show you on the video here, I just wanna do a quick introduction because there's not much of an introduction on the video. I shot some footage just as I was doing the project and so anyways, so I apologize in advance for the shaky footage. I didn't have the best quality camera. I kind of just was doing it while I was building the house and so there wasn't a whole lot of time, but anyways, I wanted to show you what I did for doing my plumbing under the cement slab, like when I was doing the pole barn house. I couldn't find a lot of videos about the topic, about putting it under cement specifically. And so I had to dig down, put my plumbing in under the ground. I used four inch sewer pipe instead of three inch. I just wanted to make sure there's no problems down the road. And then I used two inch for the other stuff, a lot of it. Okay guys, real quick, wanted to do a tour here. So I've been digging away and this is the ditch. I'll turn around and show you the other view. So if I turn around here, that's the septic tank and that's where I got to start from because that's set where it needs to be. So to come up the house, you have to do a quarter inch per foot slope and you have to run this drain line. You have to decide where it comes into the house. What I did here is mine's coming in right up there and there's a lot of rocks so I have to step down. If you step down you have to use either 22 and a half or 45s. And I'm going to step down to this level down here. It's not as bad as it looks like from there. I'll show you when it's all done. Anyway, so I'm digging and I got my first couple pipes in. You can see right there. Started Friday night with the digging. You can see it's a real mess here. But a buddy let me borrow back who I think I mentioned that earlier. So this is some plumbing I got done here. So I wanted to give you a quick tour starting down from the septic tank. So Friday night I started digging and then I was up here Saturday some and Sunday some and now this is Monday morning. We have to go do something this afternoon so I took the day off work and did a half day. Okay so starting down here, I think I showed this yesterday. I'm going to go up through here. Anyways and then here we had to do a step, oh, a vertical step it's called in the plumbing. And so what I did, I put a clean out right there and then put a 22 and a half degrees going down. So I put a clean out there because they're going to use that later. Maybe I'll just cut it off later wherever the ground needs to be. This looks kind of shallow here, but we're going to fill this in quite a lot. So, And then there's the sink drain up there and it was easiest to come outside here and tie in right there with a Y, four inch to two inch. Then I came here. This is a little more angles here than what I like, but it's what I had to do because there's a big old rock right there in my way. So I was able to just break enough rock to sneak past him. So anyways, and there splits. The orange is gonna go that way, which I'm gonna work on hopefully tomorrow. And then this one's coming this way and it's gonna come up here. Then here's the master vanity, gonna tie in here. And we're gonna turn, go here, to the toilet and then there's the tub drain and then this just goes right here it's going to be a vent and clean out coming up the wall right here finally got my vent pipe done there so this whole bathroom's done and I'm gonna go here and show you quick this is what I do for layout you're probably wondering how you get some of these plumbing layout well so since I lasted the video this line's coming down here and there, I'm wying off to go over to the bathroom vanity. And then right now I'm getting ready to do the toilet, which is right here. So you can see here, the way I did it, there's two tape measures. There's one there and one here. And I have my drawing here. Might not make much sense to you the way I have it here, but it's been scribbled on a lot, disregard that. But basically what I did before is I went over here and did this van bathroom I just showed you. And then this is this line coming over and this isn't exactly the scale. Um, this one's coming over here to the bathroom like this. It was just easier to dig it that way with the Y and stuff. So the toilet's going right here. So that's my layout. Right now I'm doing my tape this way and my tape this way. So I got it figured out. 
on my graph paper here, every square represents a foot. So that's how I figured it out. Anyways, and this might look a little hokey with the boxes here supporting the tape, but I just did that so with these Fat Max tapes you can span quite a distance. I just did it to have it be approximately the same level as the ground. And then right here where the two tapes gonna meet is where my toilet vent or my toilet pipe's coming up. And it's close enough for what I want because if I have to I can shove the wall a little bit, but I'm gonna get it really close. And what I'm doing for my particular case with being a pole building, I just have my string set up here. And then I just set up and I level down with a level to make sure I'm with my string. So that's how I do it. Okay, I wanted to show one more thing. When we're plumbing under the floor here, how do you find what length to cut pipe and all that stuff? Well, in this particular case, it's pretty easy because I have my Y here. It's just sitting here on the ground right in front of the last glued pipe. And I know that I want to head right for those tape measures where they meet there. And I know where this pipe wants to go. I want to hug the left side of the ditch when I get up further. So I had this pipe and I just kind of loosely stuck it in part way in there. You don't want to stick it all the way or these things are hard to get apart. And then this one I loosely stuck a short piece of pipe I have that's just a little short than what I need but it gives me a good idea. And so if I set this right here, line it right up, it tells me that I pretty much want those tight. You see how it's pointing right at that tape measure there? You can tweak it a tiny bit but not very much so you want to get it pretty close. So what you would do then is you just measure right here from right this edge where the bevel is to this edge right here and so that's what you want to make your piece so you know that's how far you want your Y to go forward to get your angle right to hook on to the next thing so that's pretty much how you do it so hope that helps. Mm -hmm.